Welcome. The session is Story of the Fisherman, Dissecting Fishing Techniques of Cloud Dragon APT. I'm Jilin Kuo, or you can call me Linda. I'm currently working in TMT5 as a Senior Threat Intelligence Analyst, and I've been invited to different international conferences, including Black Hat or uh, Cold Blue, Bitcoin, etc. And I focus on APT attacks and financial intrusions. I'm Liao Ziqin. Dark LL is my personal ID in the internet. I'm a threat intelligence research in Team T5. Sometimes I'm a speaker of security conference like Coblu and Black Hat. My research focused on APT. Before we get started, let's go through what we are going to discuss today. At the very first place, of course, we are going to define the group Cloud Dragon. We will talk about the group and how we de uh, how the definition of this group. And uh, in this conference, we will be very uh, like technical. We will go very deeper to the technical part. So in se the second and the third part, we will talk about the techniques and the malware being used by this group. And of course, at the la very last part, we'll give a key takeaway of all the uh, presentation of today. So, who is Cloud Dragon? There are actually a lot of names that you might have heard of or you've been heard that others connected to this group, uh, including APT37 or Kimsuki. We try to uh, divide the Kimsuki into two different uh, groups. Uh, the first one is the Kimsuki uh, released by Kaspersky in their report back in 2013. And another one is the public known Kimsuki that you can see in current years in a lot of news or a lot of reports. Um, like three or four years ago, we tried to connect the APD 37 with the public known Kimsuki with the shell code we found, um, they are identical. However, after years of research and further analysis, we think it actually can be divided this way. The Kaspersky Kimsuki in 2013 will be called Kim Dragon by us. And the public known Kimsuki is the character of today, the Cloud Dragon. So let's see how Cloud Dragon be a fisherman. How do, do they work and how do they uh, perform their techniques? First, we like to talk about their target scope. Uh, in the victims we've uh, observed, we found them attacking these countries, including South Korea, United States, Japan, and some countries in the Europe region. And of course, for their targeted in the industry, they like to attack like government agencies, research institutes, military, financials for sure, and high-tech companies or aerospace and energy. There are actually other service providers being abused, including those that are lar the largest one in South Korea, like Daum and Naver, and others have uh, been used widely in other countries, like Outlook.com or Gmail. Um, these are the official sites of uh, the uh, largest web portal of South Korea, the Daum and Naver. Take a deeper look at the domain name of the site because we are too sure um, the registered ones. Uh, since uh, not all of you are from South Korea, so might not be so um, familiar with their domain, so we have the real one, the spelling on the right, and as you can see, this is what the actors uh, register. Instead of neighbor, they register Navor. And for sure, Daum in another way. And Gmail. And since we all know Gmail, so that's what they register. So as you can see, 
There are a lot of uh, domains uh, that we can categorize into four different groups. Of course, there are others, but uh, basically there are four groups, including Naver, Dom, Microsoft, the Outlook, and Google. So how do they actually work? How do they um, access the, how do they attack the victims? Um, this is the, this is how it, it works. First, they will attend the accounts access. Then they will retrieve the contacts in the accounts and send phishing emails to these contacts. Since they are uh, sending phishing emails, that could be, again, uh, they can attend more access to different accounts. In other words, this is how it works. Uh, from the phishing email, if we assume one can bring uh, another two different email accounts, then the more it will uh, impact. So at the very end, it will be thousands of email accounts being abused or being accessed. But how does this, how does these, all these work? I'm going to introduce their deliver method. Uh, there many have two ways to send phishing email, phpmailer and sendgrid. The first is phpmailer. phpmailer is an open source project. It is a powerful PHP library. Developer can easily send email with phpmailer. It supports lots of authentication methods, such as plan, TLS, OOS, and etc. It can also attach file uh, to attach like a decoy or some malware. Using phpmailer Send a large number of email is not a difficult thing. If the actor sent from compromise side, the sender IP will not be able to check. This is an open directory on Cloud Dragon C2. We can see phpmailer folder here. I store all the open directory into file sheet below. There is a phpmail release package here under the module folder. The version of phpmailer is 6.0.7, which was released in uh, 2019. We surmise they used this method for a long time. This test.py uh, is a email list for testing. Those email in this file may be the actor's email. This .py is a email list of target. Mailer.php is the main program which send email. By using query string, it can send email to a specific email. But the content of uh, mailer.php can be observed in open directory. Final is sender.py. It's really a list of mail and mail requests. This is the content of sender.py. There is three arguments in the send mail function to email, to Gmail, and avatar URL. We surmise this is an operation which fake account irregular active detect of Google. The email will send the backup email of target with a phishing link. The workflow is shown as below. Sender.py read this.py and make request to mailer.php. Mailer.php will use PHP mailer library to send phishing email to target. Except open directory. 
We also discover the footprint of PHP mailer from victim's email. You can see that Cloud Dragon uses a back center email in phishing. The second deliver method is SendGrid. SendGrid is an email deliver service. You can send 100 email per day for free. If support loss program language, PHP is no exception. Here is another open directory case. The architecture is similar to previous one. The main phishing program is under CH folder. Transform.php is the main program to send email. Uh, the same name, v3.py, is a script to make requests. v1.txt is the target list and curiosity d1.php is its log. Uh, you can see here it's a uh, enc url.php. Uh, it's used to include the query string uh, of the link. Uh, the detail of encrypt url will be discussed in the next part. Final is the release package of SendGrid. From its change log, its version is 7.3.0, which is released uh, in uh, 2019. This is the content of Transform v3.py. Uh, it's released here and make requests here uh okay uh you can see the extra didn't forget to make a log the workflow is shown here uh transform v3.py with the v1.txt and make request to the same name uh, php file and the transform.php increase query string via ENC URL and uh, send the email via a uh, same uh, service. From a real phishing email, we can see same info in the email header. Uh, here uh, is the same and here same From previous two cats, we can know Cloud Dragon is good at Python and PHP. They are stronger writing, but not good at bloating. In order to execute PHP code, they put all relay code to web service, and that code calls the code be leaked. The next part is the evolution of vision. We will introduce three types of vision. Let's see how to be a big fisherman. First of all, uh, I'm going to introduce traditional fishing method. This is a real fishing site obtained in 2019. The page is very similar to the real one. But there is a bug, because in the real website, there should be a, an advertisement on the right side. But if you are the user of Adblock, you may not find this bug. Okay, the query string of this website is very simple. Parameter n is used to control different mode. Uh, there are four modes here, uh, view input password for my info, and view input password, uh, view download and change password. Uh, those are on the uh, page for fishing. And the parameter 
token help is the best system for encoded username. The structure is shown as follows. Mobile detect WP is a common element of Cloud Dragon. Uh, it's distinguished mobile phone and computer user and lead them to different fishing patch. Download.php is often used to show decoy and download uh, something. Arrow.php uh, will appear when the query stream pass error. It is used to prevent other people from random visits to the website and discover it is a phishing website. Most of the process control will be implemented in index.php. Log is an other common element in Cloud Dragon's phishing site. It used to log a uh, user's behavior and credential. Mobile uh, underscore and PC underscore as the prefix are the content of phishing more patch. Victim data will be uh, recalled uh, and stored in the result folder. The wolf flow is shown as below. The entry point is index.php. If the query stream pass failed, um, the error stream will be shown. Uh, and if it's pass success, uh, it will uh, detect uh, the display um, according to the device and mode. Final log and credential are recorded in the result folder through log.php. So we are going to share another traditional phishing case. I know most of you might lose your patience, think that why are you always talking about the traditional one instead of talking about the evolution and new things? Because there's still something new compared to the previous case. So. We are still going to share and to talk about it. In this case, they are trying to target the Apple user. So as you can see, the query string is, is as well very simple. But there are some difference, including the first one. The parameter M is missing. Why? What does that mean? That means that they are not creating a, other, a different fishing mode. And what's the reason behind? We think there there might be two um two possible reasons, including uh, perhaps that that is the only Apple login page it has, um, or the actors were just too tired to create other uh, mode. And there's another new uh, parameter called last. Uh, it means the index of the exit page that will be redirect after the user login. Um, as you can see, the website structure is actually similar to the previous one. But uh, please look at the, the first line in the very top. Um, there is uh, a decoy document in this, uh, in this case. And there are two other things to be highlighted. The first one is the link PHP. Uh, it will jump to index PHP with a specific uh, query string. And for the PDF PHP, because in, in this case, we have the decoy document. So this PHP will display the PDF document. And from the decoy document, uh, like we show here, uh, it's obvious they are saying like 2020, a uh, happy new year. So this attack is targeting um, in last year during the New Year times. So, to a quick wrap up, uh, we think that the text uh, runs in this way. First, the actor might send emails to their target, 
and the tar uh, the email itself might contain uh, either the uh, PDF PHP or the link PHP. And both of them will be redirect to the index PHP, which will then trigger the Apple login page. So the victim or the target will see the, the page you see at the very first. And finally, uh, similar, not similar, but the same as previous one, the log PHP will do the same thing. It will record the information and save them to the folder result. So that is the traditional fishing cases. After reviewing the traditional fishing skill, finally, we are going to show something new. First is proxy mirror. It's implemented with PH proxy, an open source project. The advantage are as follows. Because the crawler gets the content of real site in real time. So the phishing patch will update itself. And the update cost of actor is relatively small. PHP proxy can easily modify the content during the uh, crawling process. Another advantage is different from traditional fishing. Proxy mirror is connected to the real website. Therefore, the account and password can be verified. I believe there are a lot of people who forget the right password in traditional fishing. Next, we will use a real case to describe this trick. The phishing email of proxy mirror is shown as below. The email content is an abnormal login of account. There is a link with encrypted query string on the email. Here is the uh, encryption uh, query string link. After click that link, it redirects to another phishing site and the query string will be decreased into plain text. Uh, the red link above is the link in the email. After connect to CC1, the browser is redirected to CC2 and pull the query string. We can uh, we, we call this technique URL hopping. The hopping point can limit visitor and avoid be checked. Most of email scanner can do dynamic check the uh, redirect. It can only see the hopping point CC1, not the real vision side CC2. If the hopping point is down, the real vision side will disappear. It makes it difficult uh, to check vision side for researchers. Then, see the query string of proxy mirror. Pyramid patch is the best 16 for encoded username. And pyramid P is uh, another best 16 for encode. After decode, uh, there are three fields uh, split with slash. The first field is R called VIP. And the second and third field will be a four digit number like 1001, 1002, which is the ASIC patch index. Pyramid U is the uh, proxy target URL. So this is uh, today's first demo. I'm going to show the proxy mirror. This is the uh, fishing, uh, fishing site 
built by Cloud Dragon and it's used proxy mirror technique. So I'm going to test the proxy function in this demo. So to test the function uh, of proxy, uh, I need to change the parameter u, which is uh, the target of the target of proxy. And I enter the down.net, which is another proto in Korea. Oh, you can see that uh, this uh, proxy has a redirect function. So uh, even I enter down.net, it redirects to triple w dot down.net. And you can see all of the HTML uh, element are proxied. So uh, we enter the down and this proxy uh, work very well. All elements are correct. Okay, so let's look this demo again. Okay, so uh, now we know that the proxy is work. Let's see how to use proxy to fish it. First, the proxy will connect to the real login patch, which is number this in this case, and change the login firm. Then after the user, the victim, submit the username and password. Um, the proxy will send the username and password to log file and real site. If the response of real site show that it's logging successful, the username and password will be sent to confirm.php. This step increase the availability of vision information. Here is an other proxy mirror demo. I'm going to show uh, if the actor get my correctly username and password how the vision uh, site work. So the first step I enter the proxy mirror vision site and that is my username and I copy my password from password management and password manager and I click submit okay let's put the video and we can see here here on um, the phishing side send a request to confirm.php uh, the query string is my username and password. So um, after the phishing site uh, check the availability uh, of my account uh, and login success, it will be redirected to the real uh, the real site, which is mail.naver.com. Let's see this demo again. Okay, so that's final evolution of vision is vision bot. More and more web service 
provide two-factor authentication. When user log in, the system requires a one-time password, which can receive from some app or SMS. Cloud Dragon is a professional phishing man. Phishing with two-factor authentication is not a difficult thing. Phishing bot contain two services, phishing website and phishing bot. They use Ajax to community with. Phishing bot synchronize the operate browser in the C2 with Selenium. Okay, so we start from the real case. Uh, this is this case is target service down. The link is the same as proxy mirror is used the URL hopping technique. So uh, the link in email uh, will uh, jump to uh, link to the hopping point and redirect to the phishing site. And here uh, is the same, it, it uses the same key and send IV value. Okay, let's see the decrypt query string. The parameter token help is the same is username, but this time it's below best 16 for encode. Parameter n is the most. The detail analysis of more will show uh, in the next in the next patch. And the parameter last is the index of this patch. Okay, so before we introduce the more patch, uh, there are something you should know. Um, there are two authentication methods for down service. It, and one is down and other is cacao. The login page of two are different. So the phishing bot is very smart. Phishing bot will automatically recognize the type of account and display different patch. This is the patch of uh, Fishing bus show. Uh, you can see uh, it's a simple login patch. This is an other mod called login OPT. This is the patch for receive OTP call and input the OTP call to the uh, system. Different from the real patch, this is patch is uh, static. But the real side patch will show the phone number. And next is verify mode. Uh, this is to imitate the user after login. Need to confirm the password uh, again. And the next one is edit mode. This patch is mainly to check user into change their password. And it's preserved to be matched with the previous verify mode to allow to, to let victim to believe uh, it's okay to change the password here. Okay, so I'm going to introduce how Fishing bar fishing with two factor. Victim visit fishing site here login page and input his account and password. The fishing bot will receive it and open a browser to the real website and try use this account and password to login. After successful login. The browser 
will show OTP patch now. And after bus confirm it needs OTP, uh, it will redirect the victim patch from login patch to OTP patch. The victim will receive the OTP call from uh, his mobile and enter the OTP call to the OTP patch. The bot will receive the OTP call and immediately input the OTP call to the browser. So now the browser is logging a uh, company successful and the bot will redirect the victim patch into the real website. Victim cannot identify the login step is done by uh, phishing. This is the final demo today. I'm going to show how phishing bot work. Uh, we obtain the phishing bot source code from open directory. In this demo video, the left hand side will be C2 side and the right hand side will be victim side. So the first thing uh, is I, I should launch the uh, phishing bot. You can see it's just a Python script and listen port. And next, uh, in victim side, I uh, visited the, the uh, phishing website. Okay, when I, when the phishing website send the uh, account info to the phishing bot, the phishing bot open browser automatically. And the, the browser is a real cutout uh, patch. And in phishing site, I enter my password and click submit. Uh, the bot will receive my uh, credential and fill the account information to the real website. So now the real website uh, just redirect to the uh, one uh, the OTP patch and the phishing site will re redirect to. But you can see here the real site has my phone, but the fake uh, site didn't did did have. I enter my OTP code received from SNS. Okay, so the bot uh, just got my OTP code and fill the OTP code to the real website. So now uh, the phishing bot just control my account now. Wow. And the victim side will redirect to the uh, real website. Uh, they are the same step now. Wow. I know what you want. Let's see this demo again.
In the next chapter, we will introduce the malware they used. Cloud Dragon doesn't just send a phishing email to get users' account. Uh, Cloud Dragon also uses stolen account to send malicious email. This social engineer technique to uh, let a victim to click the attached file in the malicious email. The common malicious file format such as uh, WinPE, WinInstaller, WFF script, H uh, HTS script, macro document, and is for HWP. Next, we will introduce two well-known malware uh, of Cloud Dragon, Baby Shark and Jambak. In 2019, uh, Uni42 published two Baby Shark's reports. Let's quickly review. The malicious macro document uh, will download an HTA file, and the HTA uh, file use three channel to um, fetch the command uh, express.php, call.php, upload.php. Uh, the uh, C2 uh, has a lot of uh, encrypt panel. Uh, such as partial format uh, will uh, execute like uh, DIR, execute some uh, program and keylog, and or some uh, script type uh, backdoor. And more, moreover, uh, the uh, backdoor uh, can be some uh, PE format executable file. The way, the way to identify baby shark is very simple. It has a unique transportation encryption method. The decrypt function um, is in the HTF file. Okay, you can see the decryption function like this. And the payload download from the C2 will be decrypt uh, to plain text in HTA. In 2020, we find a new baby shark sample. Uh, in the uh, macro document, there are two main functions. The first one is similar to the previous baby shark. It's removed of its macro protection. And the second function is to drop a VBS file. The VBS file will collect the antivirus info and send it back to the C2 through his PHP. We surmise that after collect this information and carry out the antivirus testing for the next stage of the back door. And you can see the same encryption method still exists, but the decryption function is not used to um, uh, to decrypt the second stage payload. It is used to decrypt the encrypt VB script in macro. After the decrypt function in the macro you can see the plain text VB code. And if you look closely, you can find the same decrypt function inside. Uh, you need to decrypt three times to get the final payload. The next malware is Jamblock. As not as Apple C or auto update. We first seen is in the 2019, uh, and still, uh, it's still uh, widely used now. Dreambug is the main backdoor of Cloud Dragon. 
in addition to Windows version, uh, there is uh, an Android version now. Here is the introduce of uh, Windows version Dreambug. We can see that. Uh, we, we can see here uh, the two earlier sample have uh, its PDB stream. Uh, when we discover the first sample incubation, we use the pronunciation of incubation in Korean to name this malware. Uh, later, we found another sample, uh, Apple Seed. Uh, maybe this bagel backdoor should be called Utopia. The most common delivery method for Dreambug is through WSF script. There are two best 64 encoded file in the script and the script the script file will decode and drop an SQLAN. The workflow is shown as follows. WSF script drop to file, decoy and drainbug. The common format of decoy is HWP, PDF, and Office document. Dreambug will be executed by Redis Server 32. This is because Dreambug usually has an export function DAL register server, which is the entry point of Redis Server 32. In some version, Dreambug will inject into Explorer. Dreambug will copy its, itself to the Windows Defender folder under App Data and rename to auto update.dll and set up a registry to be persistent. In order to avoid antivirus signature scan, most of strings in Dreambug are encrypted. The decryption function is shown as below. I know um, it's a, a little bit hard to read. So I prepare a Python version. Okay, you can see the cipher is a hex string. So first, uh, convert it back to the byte array. And the header uh, 16 byte are the key. And the remaining data uh, is the cipher. And put them into a variant X over decryption. We will got, uh, we, we will get the plain text. The decryption string is here. It's here. You can see that they are all Windows API. Yes, Dreambug build its owner import table when it's uh, when the program is uh, start. All of data sent by Dreambug are encrypted by the following algorithm. The data will be compressed into zip file format and then it will generate random bytes, uh, 16 bytes key and doing a, a XOR encryption. And after encryption the data, it will uh, calculate a checksum uh, to put here and final put a magic header uh, which is similar to PDF files header in the beginning. The 
the package file is shown as below. You can see the match header uh, and the CRC checksum and 16 bytes XOR key and the encryption data here. So all the upload file will be this format in Dreambug. Here is my script to decrypt the a file. Of course, I didn't verify CRC. There are four main commands in Dreambug. For command zero, it, 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 it executes uh, Windows command shell via uh, cnd.exe and return the uh, execution result. For command one, it will execute a DLL using Redis Server 32. For command two, it will execute DLL in memory. For command three, uh, it will upload file which actual one. In addition to Jambas command, there are several functions in Jambas. I call it flag function here. There are keyboard monitor, screen monitor, folder monitor, and USB monitor. Dreambug will check whether this file exists in the flag folder, which is in the work directory. If the file exists, the corresponding function will be turned on. Here uh, is the flag function screen monitor. It will take screenshot and upload it to C2. You can see the essential Windows API. Get desktop window here. And the keyboard monitor will record key log and upload it to C2. The special key will transduce specific text like back, uh, tab, enter, control, and pause. The folder monitor will monitor three users' folder, desktop, download, and document. If there is a new file in those folder, Dreambug will upload it to C2 immediately. The USB monitor will monitor if there is a remo removable device plugged in. If the device inserts, it will issue a command dir slash s. Uh, this command means to list all the directory and file under uh, this uh, removable device and the uh, this result will upload is to C2. In Dreambox traffic pattern, there are five query string for community with C2. Use parameter n as mod identify. Mod a print a heartbeat mod b upload file to c2 mod c download the command from c2 mod d delete the command on c2 and mod e it will download the new version dream bug and upgrade itself So now we are going to make conclusion. We will now give a quick wrap up of what our presentation today uh, has. The first, we talk about the group Cloud Dragon, how we define the group, including its target scope, 
and the uh, the service it have been abused. And the second part, we talk about uh, their fishing skills, their uh, advanced and interesting fishing skills, from their delivery method to the traditional fishing uh, skills, uh, which is similar to others, and to their to evolution, including proxy mirror and fishing bot. And the very last part, we talk about their uh, the malware they've been used. Uh, including the, the popular one, Baby Shark, um, its new findings, and a thorough analysis on its favored um, malware called Genbok. So this is uh, the presentation for today. And may you have any kind of question regarding this group or any things regarding APT in APAC, please feel free to contact us as our uh, email account. Thank you.